got to say, um, I don't mind these. These are $1,599 speakers each. I have two for a very clear reason. These are the Soundbox. Now, there's been a couple of iterations of these over the years. This is the latest, um, and they've taken the concept of a party speaker to the big parties. Like, I'm talking Hollywood Hills-style party. So, if you're the kind of person that needs music at a party, you just bring a speaker, whatever. If you're taking a little speaker this big, that's cool. Have, the, have your party. This speaker is for the party where there's a lot of people, a lot of sound, and you really want to fill the area. You could fill, like seriously, you could fill a park with sound with this thing. So the concept here is big, mighty speaker, okay? Big sound, but nothing that you've heard from a traditional Bluetooth speaker. But still, it's paired with Bluetooth. Now, I've chosen to pair with my laptop here because I'm playing a bit of royalty-free music so we don't get a copyright strike here on YouTube or Facebook. But um, simple pairing, simple pairing with your smartphone or auxiliary inputs, proper XLR or 3.5 mil, whatever you like. Whatever your choice, whatever your flavor, you can get music into them. Now, just one on its own, as I said, $1,600, $1,599, JB Hi-Fi um, is epic. Now, I'll tell you my favorite thing about it. The, you know when you set a speaker up and you change the volume on your phone to go up, the maximum on your phone is the maximum for the speaker. Uh -uh, not here. You've got a big volume dial on the side of these things, which you can adjust all the way up to 11, um, and that gives you control. So you put your, put your phone or your input device at maximum and then control the volume with the dial on the side. And I've got to tell you, the dial is, is quite stiff. It's a very hard dial to turn. And I think that's a good thing, so you can't just go whoop, straight up to 11. So I like that about it. Um, but it's also a constant turn. So I'm at 11 now, constantly turning, doesn't go any higher. Um, but it's got a digital display showing you where on the spectrum you are. Um, apart from that, you've got three modes. You're in solo mode, you're a host, or you're joining another one. So you set them in those modes and they'll find each other. So the joining ones will find the host and, and off you go to create us a, a set of sound box. If you've got the cash, buy five of the things and pair them all together wirelessly. If you want to, you can use a traditional cable as well. I've tested that, works a treat. Um, so you can do whatever you want in terms of configuration. Uh, if you want reliability, there's no doubt cables are better than wireless, so interference and different issues, but I've never had any issues with that. Um, very simple otherwise. So on one side, you've got your power, volume, and pairing or uh, uh, connection modes. On the back, you've got inputs and outputs. And again, very simple, just the XLR, auxiliary in, uh, auxiliary out, and the channel one, channel two auxiliaries so that you're sending audio around. But here's my favorite part. I'm just gonna unplug this one here. That, that's the battery. Okay, so this battery pack here, and uh, really simple, easy to use, like no, no issues. You know, that's it, that's the battery, right? On here, you press a button, find it the battery power. Now this battery, when it's in, so basically the same power cord can be used to either power the sound box directly, or with the battery, the same power cord charges the battery. So you slide it in with a little handle out, plug it in, and then power it up. And we should have, should still have connection here. So let's fire that up again. Now one thing I'll tell you is the volumes are not in sync. So what you want to do is once you power them on, you need to sync the volumes into the right point and then choose the volume uh, from your input device. But I love that about the battery. Now at full power, you'll get five hours battery life out of that little tiny battery, frankly. But at medium power, it's 40 hours of battery life. And to be honest, medium power with full volume from the input device is probably all you're gonna need. Um, yeah, really simple, really great. And here's the other thing, you can take these baubles off the side uh, with a simple Allen key. Take this front off, you can remove the logo, spray paint the grill, and uh, you know, they're kind of inviting creativity. I'm thinking we might pull the grills off these and spray paint them with EFTM logos. Just an idea. Um, yeah, so they're really nice. But you know, they're not, there's no water resistance here. There's no um, USB inputs. There's a lot of things that say a JBL Partybox 1000, tall unit on wheels with a DJ pad. That's a very different unit to this and slightly cheaper. Probably more power and sound coming out of this and a simpler pairing model, but you can party share the JBLs as well. So it's a, it's a real neck and neck race there at the top end, but I think this will appeal to people because it's got that um, real 
I guess, roadie soundstage look to it as a, as a speaker like this. The sound box, you'll find them at JB Hi-Fi and other retailers now. Oh, I think I'm a massive fan. And on the back of each one is a team ID. That's essentially the Bluetooth ID for each one so that you know which one you're connecting to. Check them out now uh, at JB Hi-Fi.